grateful for is my improved relationship to our Lord and Savior. Okay, that's the first thing. Amen. Uh, that's my best decision I've made. Uh, my second best decision was quite some years back to live in a place of gratitude and appreciation, which to me is the formula for happiness. Amen. So there's a Chinese proverb, and sometimes it can be a curse. The, the proverb states that may you live in interesting times. <laughs> right? 2020. Yeah, so here we are in 2020. So what I'm grateful for in 2020 is my health. Amen. I'm grateful for my family's health. I'm grateful for the love and support of my girlfriend, Dawn. Amen. I'm grateful that I'm working. Amen. I'm also grateful that we live in a country that has checks and balances. And also, I'm very grateful to be here, right? Small church. Uh, Luis, I believe, Pastor Luis is right over here, and he said, if you're going to be small, be mighty, Amen. right? And so I was thinking of how blessed we are, how grateful I am of, of this little church. Right now, now, Pastor and I were in a church that was 10 times the size, if not 20. So... Um, as far as the church is concerned, I mean, we had the likes. We were blessed to have the likes of Pastor Jason, who was by far one of the best teachers I've ever experienced. Uh, we had the Pastor Esteban with his passion for Christ. Mm -hmm. It's contagious, and I hate to use the word infectious, but it was. <laughs> yeah. right? uh, okay. And then we had Pastor Frank. Yeah. You know, I'd give out his lessons. Um, <laughs> and uh, he was phenomenal with leadership and, and stewardship and discipline, and that was fantastic. And, and then we, we prayed that the, the, uh, the Lord would bring us somebody, right? And the Lord brought us past the job, right? Which has just been phenomenal, well rounded pastor, hitting on all the buttons. So we are just so blessed and so grateful. And then on top of that, we have like a two for one, yeah. right? We have Leanna, which is amazing, right? Up here every Sunday morning in worship, pouring her heart out. And what a prayer warrior, right? So I'm very grateful and very thankful. And lastly, I'm thankful for you guys, because you guys are awesome. Thank you. And I appreciate it. So thank you. Amen, man. Thank you. Psalm 103, verses 4 and 5. I, I took this cue from you to use 103. Right, thank, thank you, you Paul. <laughs> who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Now, uh, I've got a few years, <laughs> eight years, you can't see because I'm asked. Um, and just looking back, just, yes, he has satisfied me. Just, he's done all these things over time, provided me and us and Nathaniel with so many good things. And just, there's so much that he has done. Just looking, looking back. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, as Pastor Don has said, as we all know, it has been a really interesting year. <clears throat> but... I was excited for 2020 because I turned 50 this year. Yeah. And prior, and you know, in 2019, in the beginning of the year, I started thinking, wow, next year I'm going to be 50. But the Lord really showed me like that my life has been blessed. I'm healthy. I have a great family, church family, beautiful daughter. I have, you know, God's always provided with me for me with a job. Um, and I just started to then change my focus to say, instead of being depressed about turning 50, I'm going to just celebrate. I'm going to be excited about it. So I was looking forward to 2020 because I was like, I'm going to embrace this, you know, 50 years. I know I don't look 50. Thank you. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but so it started out, you know, I was actually, I went on a wonderful women's retreat in, Janu in, uh, in January. I met some awesome women of God, um, who also were lawyers, who also were women of color, um, met, you know, actually ended up being so, meeting, like, becoming so close to them 
that a few of us went uh, to Morocco mm -hmm. in March with one who was already celebrating, planning to celebrate her 50th birthday. Nice. But that's how close we got. So it was like, it started out great the year for me. Um, and, and through, you know, the coronavirus and also, unfortunately, the racial injustices that have occurred over the course of the year really, you know, took me a little bit aback. Um, but it also reminded me um, that I have to continue to be ever vigilant. Um, and I've been doing um, my best to educate my, my um, coworkers about, you know, people of color, Black Lives Matter, um, and, you know, educating as much as I can myself, my daughter, um, and so that's been something I've been thankful for because I think, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have thought about or even heard it, like racial injustices is not new, and, but this year this country is starting to have the really hard conversations that people just haven't been having. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so I'm thankful for that because I think with those conversations that will definitely evoke change in this country. And so I'm thankful for that, I'm thankful for people who are open to be allies and support, you know, the efforts of, you know, just creating new norms for people where everybody is treated fairly and equitably. So I'm, I'm blessed and thankful for that as well. Um, and just uh, um, my daughter, I'm thankful God has brought us through a tough, a tough time. Um, and through, you know, especially end of the summer into, into the fall, I'm really blessed and thankful that God has been supporting her, that she um, has been strong enough and courageous enough to talk to me about some issues she was having. And so I've been able to get her some help and she and I are doing much better as our relationship. Yeah. So just thankful for that. And like I said, God has always been, always been there for me, always been my provider, uh, has just blessed me abundantly. So. I'm just, I'm prayerful, I'm thankful for 2021. I'm yeah. thankful, yeah. Uh, I, 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 oh, in my 50th year, I got a bike, so I'm thankful yeah. for my new pastime of riding my motorcycle. Um, went out for a beautiful ride yesterday. So thankful that God will continue to keep me safe from harm yeah. um, and my family and, and just continuing to, to do the work of, of Christ. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. So, you know, it goes without saying the kind of year that we had. And, you know, I thought about what I was going to be thankful for and get up here and say what I needed to say. And I'm thinking about, I'm like, you know, everything I have to be thankful for, it's not tangible. It's not like a house. It's not a car. Mm -hmm. It's not so much about money. And I've been coming to this church for a long time. And what's unfolded for me throughout the year is just being so grateful just to have peace mm -hmm. and to know what being intentional in your prayer mm -hmm. is all about and i turned 45 this year nice. <laughs> so i'm thankful for my health um i'm thankful that i have two beautiful kids who they're in their first year of college um I'm thankful that God blessed them with grants, financial mm -hmm. aid, yeah. to not only help them, but to help me yeah. <laughs> financially. Yeah. Um, so it's just, I've met so many people, I've made so many new connections, reconnected with friends I haven't seen in so long online. Mm -hmm. So thank God for technology, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's good and bad and different, but for the most part, I think for the first time in a very long time, I've become more connected with people than I ever have. And I've become a part of a women's community. Um, it's a coaching program. And they help, um, they help women discover their strengths or talents so that they really know what they bring to the table when they go for a job search. So. That, I've just met so many good people. I've made so many new friendships. I've released old friendships, relationships that just weren't serving me, that yeah. felt heavy. Mm -hmm. um, I have better relationships with my family, my parents, my kids. And my mantra for this year was abundance. Mm. And 
despite, you know, my job closing down in March, it was one of the biggest blessings I've had. Mm -hmm. I was earning my bachelor's degree and I was just running back and forth to union three nights a week, working full time. And I just remember feeling so overwhelmed and like, oh God, like this feels so heavy. I've been running like this for a year and a half. And, you know, I wasn't, my relationships were strained. You know, it's just becoming disconnected. I had to do, one of my last classes was statistics and having to do it in Excel. So enough said right there. <laughs> I was like, God, help me through this. Like, I just need peace. I need to know what feeling, you know, just having peace in my life. And that was really what I was praying for all year, peace and strength. Mm, yes. And the two scriptures that I've stuck with all year is, be still yes. mm -hmm. and you have not because you ask not mm -hmm. yes. Yes. so yeah just discovering what the power of prayer is really about mm -hmm. I've never had that before mm -hmm. I found that this year mm -hmm. and it's just been unbelievable it's just been amazing I've had so many little blessings in disguise show up mm -hmm. I didn't worry about money at all I didn't have a job um, but I had savings, you know, I'm a saver. So I'm just like, okay, but everything just worked out perfectly because every time I felt that little bit of anxiety coming back up, I was like, nope, get down and pray, mm -hmm. ask, be still, trust. And I fully surrendered to God this year. And I, I've just never done that before. And how unfortunate that I haven't been doing that all along, but Still, I'm grateful that it happened this year during such a challenging time, the unfortunate losses that people have experienced and, you know, losing loved ones, losing, you know, their homes or just their finances. And I'm just amazed and ever so grateful that I've just had one of the best years of my life. Mm -hmm. And um, I thank the church for all that they do. I thank you for your wonderful services and yeah i'm just so i'm excited Amen. i'm really excited for next year <laughs> i just want to say that i think that so I, I love some of the the uh examples that tracy and don give i think it's so easy to get caught up i'll speak for myself it's so easy for me <laughs> to get caught up in in focusing on on the negative and on the the things that are um just it's it, well the negative <laughs> it's that simple um to get caught up looking at things and and uh sidetracked by some distracted by by what's not going right or what's not going well i think it's human nature to maybe do that um but it's i feel like this year it's interesting what don was just saying it's i feel like you know as i've looked around me and you, you read the news for five minutes um there's you know, in the midst of so many people losing so much and and struggling in so many ways, it's been a pretty good year uh, for me. For some reason, I've I felt God's presence more than I have in a in a long time, and um, I felt like He He dealt with me on some things uh, regarding some things, and I had a come to Jesus meeting with me uh, a few times over some things that I was kind of putting off and just kind of ignoring. Um, because it's easy to do that, right? You know, just say, oh, I'll deal with that later, you know, another day, uh, next year. Um, but it, it, I don't have next year. I don't have another day. And, uh, you know, I've got a wife and I've got a, I got a three-year-old who depend on me. And we've got a lot of people that we know that, that, you know, look, you know, look up to us. And, and, um, and it's, I, I guess I realize that I can't, I, I need to take that a lot more seriously, um, than what I've, I've been doing, but. I would just, I guess I've been, as I've been challenging myself, I would challenge uh, you all to, to, and if you have to, you know, force yourself to look at the, at the, at the blessing in the, in the trials and in the tribulations and the difficulties that we face every day, um, to really look, look into those things. What, what is God trying to teach me through this right now? And I know it's very easy to say, but 
But if you really do the work of looking into those things, there, there's always something uh, that can be, can be gotten, uh, from, can be learned from those things. You know, just watching that video, you know, I just, it's so easy to, to take for granted the things that we have every day, all day, you know, we complain about a cold shower, you know, you, tell, you know, it's like, what the heck, you know, it's, what, are you kidding me? That's why I pay bills, you know, it's like, you know, it's easy to kind of get in this mindset, but it's, there's, you know, as I traveled, you know, all throughout South America years ago, and I was glad to see that, you know, I was thinking, man, I need to watch this video every morning. Um, to just remind me that we are so blessed here. I mean, the, the, the most impoverished of us that, you know, are really blessed here compared to other places in the world. And it's so easy to get caught up in this bubble we live in, you know, mm -hmm. this, this bubble, you know, and then the, as Christians, this bubble within the bubble, you know, and forgetting that just on the other side of this, this globe that we live on. I mean, it's just, it's, there's people who are, who, who are looking for water. I mean, who are waiting in lines who are just, or can't even access it. And uh, we've just got so much to be thankful for. But we do have, we have to look for it. We have to think about it. We just, and just, God, help me every day to see the things that, that help remind me uh, that, that I'm blessed. And, and just give me, give me a, an attitude of thankfulness and, and, and gratitude. But, um, yeah, we have a lot to be thankful for. Hello, everybody. God bless you. I just want to share my thanks to the Lord for his beautiful blessings. I, I'm so grateful for everything he's done and everything he will do. I'm so grateful for that and everything he's doing. You know, he everything is in his hands, and I'm so grateful for his salvation, for his redemption, for his love and his understanding, for his mercy, and um, that just has no end in sight. And I'm so grateful for that. And I just thank the Lord for having him and to know him and to have, I can call him my Lord and my Savior. I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful for my parents that are here with me and uh, they support me amazingly and they help me so much every day and they're, they are my spiritual parents as well. And so together we go through the ups and downs of every situation and I'm just so grateful for that because they are with me and they um, support me and love me and my children and I'm so grateful because they were supposed to not be here for uh, this long. They were supposed to be here just a month and the Lord stretched it out where they've been here over a year and I'm more than happy and they can continue to stay <laughs> as long as uh, you know they want to stay I'm happy to have them um, and uh, in the children as well you know there's such a big support system for us here in the family so I'm so grateful I'm grateful for my uh, my uh, sister and her support and her loving family they are also a huge blessing in my life and um, uh, just so uplifting in my life and I'm so grateful for that support system I have uh, just so amazing and also for my um, my children I'm so grateful for my triplets they were highly prayed for believed for and uh, fasted for I mean we uh, believed so much for them we prayed so much for the Lord to bless us and the Lord blessed us with these beautiful three our triplets you know 14 years old um, two boys as Michael and Jeremy and Sarah and I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for what God is doing in their lives, for what he's done and what he will do. I'm so grateful for that, that he's leading their lives and that's all I want. That's all I pray for. They've been dedicated to him way before they were in my belly and uh, I just, uh, I'm grateful that God is keeping them and protecting them and um, I can trust in that. I'm trusting in the Lord is one of the biggest blessings in my life. So grateful for that. Um, also, very grateful for Sarah and her battle with breast syndrome, that the Lord is having this situation under his control and that uh, regardless of the, of the battles she's going through, you know, she's not going through it alone. We're there with her and more than anything, the Lord is with her and everything is in his hands. And I'm so grateful for Branch Point Church and for your love and your understanding, for your support, for your prayers. Um, I'm grateful for uh, the pastor, his wife and the, the children. I'm so grateful that uh, uh, it, it's it's a blessing that God has blessed us with these uh, amazing uh, pastoral family and um, and what they're doing them youth ministry is a blessing the children like it the boys like it and uh, the the child ministry with my Sarah I'm just so supportive that you guys are so awesome you support you make it so easy for me to just drop her and just be able to go upstairs and you know go and I can just hand her in and, and you just make it so beautiful and I'm just so grateful um, 
I'm not going to cry. <laughs> uh, so grateful for your support. And uh, I, I appreciate it. God bless you all. And I just pray that the Lord blesses you in this beautiful Thanksgiving season and, and always. And that he would always continue and uh, to guide you and to bless you and to provide in every way that you need. And that um, he will answer those um, prayers that you have in your life. And that you can see his mighty hand moving in every area of it. God bless you. Bless you all. I am thankful with God, with Jesus, because He paid the price to give us salvation and eternal life forever. I'm also thankful to work with my friend Chris. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful I'm alive. I'm able to walk, I'm able to sit, I'm able to talk. God bless you. I'm thankful because I go to church. I'm thankful because I eat good. God bless you all. This 2020 Thanksgiving season is so much to be thankful for. And um, we're so thankful for the blessing of 2020, even though it's been a tough year uh, with coronavirus. We feel like the Lord, as always, has been super faithful to us. Uh, has given us an opportunity to purchase a new home this year, uh, to move to a great area. And uh, we just thank the Lord for his health uh, on us and our children. And also, we're just so grateful to be part of uh, Branch Point Church and to be the pastors there. Um, we feel like in a good way that we have been at Branch Point for, for a long time. And again, I mean that in a good way. And we just feel so connected with everyone. Uh, so we're just thankful for, for this year, what God has done. And also we're thankful for what God's going to do in the future, in our, our personal lives, as well as in the church. I'm very grateful uh, for 2020. I knew in 2019 that um, we were going to homeschool through this year, and I just felt so settled in my heart. I knew we were moving, like there was just so many certainties. And then 2020 hit and it was very uncertain, but I'm so grateful that we serve a God who speaks to us, who encourages our hearts. Um, back in January of 2020, when we were at Disney, I was sharing with my mom that I was actually kind of sad to put my kids in school in the fall. And that's kind of weird because I count down the days that I can put my kids in school. <laughs> But I just felt that in my heart, and this is before Corona and everything, and my mom was like, well, your homeschool journey is not done. And that was odd to me, um, but I felt a lot of peace. And who knew that all of this would happen? And so I'm grateful that the Lord spoke to my heart that I wasn't um, making decisions out of fear or out of compulsion because of the hysteria in our country and in our world. I am grateful that um, as we moved, that you guys just came alongside us and loved us and loved our children. Um, moving is not easy, and it's especially not easy during a pandemic. But I have to say, it has really been a smooth transition on the side of family and kids. Um, my kids really have adjusted well, and I'm so grateful for the kids' ministry at Branch Point. I'm thankful for all of you who have just reached out and loved us and loved our kids. Um, but most importantly, I am so grateful for this time that we have been able to strengthen our roots as a family being home all the time and having to stay home and not have extracurricular activities and things. Um, it can be a little overwhelming, but I'm just grateful for what the Lord has done in our family and has done in our lives personally. And we are just so looking forward to moving forward with Branch Point and stepping into that new season and seeing all that God has in store for us as a church body and as individuals. Amen. Well, we pray that you'd have a blessed Thanksgiving, Branch Point family, with your family and your friends, and we'll see you real soon. God bless you.